Hello fellow Zuba Kings and Queens, welcome to Court Royal, and today your entertainer Zuba King will be talking to you about how to defeat another character of the zoo. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be doing a video another how to kill, and it's going to be on Buck. Now, if you are familiar with sniper characters such as Pepper or Milo, you understand that Buck is a relatively easy character to kill. However, if you're playing as a character like Larry, then you're going to be a little bit more thankful for this video. Um, Larry's and Henry's and such have a difficult time against Buck's because... They can't get close to them without taking a ton of damage. And so you're going to want to be very careful when playing against a buck. Now I'm going to explain this in three steps. We're going to start with step zero, however, which is not going to be in any more videos because it should be implied by now. You're going to want to play buck. So just play a few rounds, get used to them. All right, that was step zero. It's not going to be implied anymore. You're just going to use it in the further steps. So step one, you're going to want to bait the charge. Now what I, what I mean by this is Buck has a charge. See, Buck has a charge. And essentially he uses it to gain a lot of ground and hurt people. So you, oh, well wow, that was dumb. And once you damage someone, you get an incredible speed boost. So what you're going to want to do is Buck, er, when fighting against a Buck, is you're going to want to trick them into using the charge. So they're going to run at you. And then hopefully, if you've done it properly, they're going to miss. That's when you make your move. Because once you've made your move and they've missed, like, let's just assume you're in a bush. You're juking them out by using uh, jungle shoes. And then they just get choked and they choke and then they miss their boost. Then now they're placed right beside you and you can run up and take them down. This is excellent because now they cannot get you in the air, which gives them a few seconds of being able to attack you and doing whatever they want. Which is a horrible thing if you're being a low character, a low health character like Henry or Larry. So you want to juke the charge, make them use it, and then run in and do and then deal damage. Now these next few steps are on how you deal the damage because you can't again you can't run into a fight with a buck; they're going to shred through you within seconds. So we're going to go ahead and do step two, is how to fight them. Now, when a buck attacks, they're usually going to lead with the bomb, then the spear, then the shotgun, or something like that. Because they want to be able to keep damaging you so then they can keep gaining speed. So most, if not all, jade players follow this formula basically universally for all their attacks. It's where they use jungle shoes and sandals, or really just any item, including their boost, to run by a character and just deal some little bit of damage. So, like, let's say they just run by real fast the buck, drop a bomb on them, and then get out of there. You can do this with a lot of characters, and it's going to deal a little bit of damage. So then you're going to want to restart the process. You're going to want to juke the charge, do a little bit of damage, and then just repeat this process over and over until you've killed the buck. It's very slow. But it's going to save you a lot of medkits, a lot of stress, a lot of anger, and you're going to win a lot more buck fights. Last but not least, you're going to want to work on your placement. What I mean by this is once you get into a fight with a buck, they're going to probably throw a bomb at you. That's because I would say buck's best weapon is his bomb. When he rolls the bomb at you, I say about 80 to 90% of bucks with all three weapons use this triple bomb item which essentially gives you a which gives you a huge advantage because if you can roll that bomb it's already long range and then get triple off of it you're gonna hit a lot more people so if you're planning on playing buck that's certainly a good strategy now as far as i'm concerned playing against a buck they're going to throw the bomb so you want to kind of watch this is where playing the buck comes in handy as well you know the length the range where you usually throw things so you're going to want to look around, go behind them. So if you attack from behind, they have to then do a 360 to throw the bomb. Because it doesn't go around them, it's in a straight line. So if you make it so they have to attack in a 360, like they have to spin around and then attack you. They may use their spear, but most bucks just muscle memory use the bomb first. 
So then it's safe to just say that you're going to end up using just classic attacks around the buck. Again, you do not want to just full-on assault them unless you know you can kill them very quickly. Because they can kill you very quickly if you're not careful. So you're just going to want to go around them, dodge their attacks, throw the bomb, leave, come back, shoot them, leave. You just got to be careful. You just don't want to get hit. You don't want... Getting hit with the buck is the worst thing you can do. Now, that's a lot to ask. Don't get hit. But at the same time, it's very doable if you're careful. Honestly, looking back, Buck is a relatively easy character to beat. However, most people just would, don't have enough patience to beat a Buck. I don't have enough patience to beat a Buck. I mean, I feel the fact that Buck is a hard character to beat. He's a hard character to play. But I certainly don't think he's impossible. Now, Betsy, on the other hand, I don't know. Even my video still has me confused. Let me know if this was helpful. It would be awesome. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the zoo. Until then, just enjoy some nice gameplay. Thank you.